Yo, what's going on you peg-legged palpitodes? Uh, coming at you with some Zapdos Lucario gameplay. Um, now quite a bit has changed since I last played around with this deck. Um, I've opted for all basic energy over the rainbows. Uh, so we've cut the Nihilago but kept the Buzzwool. Um, so now we have Viridian Forest in here to help us get through our energy uh, early on in the game. And I've opted for a thicker Lucario line, gone with a 3-2 to try and be more consistent about that. Um, moved up to 4 Ultra Ball over the 3 Nest Ball. I've been finding that I've been really liking the uh, 4 Ultra Ball um, in the Zapdos decks. Ideally, I've been liking 4 Nest Ball, 4 Ultra Ball, but I can't quite find room for that in every build of Zapdos. So far in this one, opting for the old 4 Ultra Ball. Three Nest Ball, we also have the Let Loose Mars Shadow in here because we don't have any of the Bench Sitters like the Wobbuffet or the Absol, so we have Bench Space for the Mars Shadow pretty consistently. Um, so yeah, this is the updated list on the Zapdos Lucario. Let's go ahead and uh, play some games. Into the first game here, we are going second in this one. Um, our hand is reasonable. At least we opened up with the Jirachi. I guess the rest of the hand is not that great. Uh, we don't want to put down two Jirachi yet, just in case we're playing against an Ultra Necrozma deck. Uh, you don't want two Jirachis in play against Ultra Necrozma. It becomes easy pickings. For the late game sky scorching light looks like we're playing against a garbador muck deck i guess the only question is is there zorak involved or is it actually just garbador and muck i guess we'll find out soon there's a sigalif so i guess it's garbador muck sigalif i don't have a really great answer for sigalif besides two shotting it um so we're probably gonna two shot in this guy which i guess is a reasonable answer they don't it doesn't actually deal with zapdos's super well zapdos super well um I'm gonna go ahead and grab the escape rope here and then switch into the other Jirachi escape rope into the other Jirachi actually because I definitely want to KO the Grimer so I can use my backup if I get a uh, what's it called off the Stellar Wish um, yeah so this is the best way to go about it there's an Ultra Ball not the best of options here though um, I think it is gonna have to be a lightning and a fighting yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, oh, well, there we go. Prize 2 Zapdos. That's going to be rough as well. All right, so this is going to be a rough one for sure. Um, but we are going to be able to get this KO on this Grimer. Avoid the potential of that turn 2 muck. Um, and then we're going to have to keep building up from here. Yeah, so rough start. Um, but far from uh, the game being over just yet. There's a Lily off the prizes, so that's going to be great. We also have the option of just switch and then Guzma. Maybe knock out another Grimer on our next turn. Um, which would also be pretty good. Um, there's a second sick lift from our opponent, and the spell tags are coming down. Okay, super interesting deck from our opponent here, actually. Um, we only have two items in here now. We're trying to avoid that magical number of six. Um, that way, the Garbiters don't one-shot us. At some point, we will hit six, most likely before the game ends. Um, we just don't want to hit it before... Um, before we've kind of, like, set up a way to win the game. Yeah, Garbiters can be tough to deal with. All right, so we're going to switch into the Jirachi... Stellar Wish. Um, I'm going to grab the Cynthia here. I think that's best. And then, yeah, Guzma knock out the Grimer. Once again, slowing down that Muck. Don't want to deal with Muck quite yet. Um, yeah, pretty much don't want to deal with it ever if we can avoid it. Knock out Muck. Oh, we'll get ourselves a prize card. Another Zapdos. That's a great find there. Getting a little nervous. We might run out of our early game attackers here sooner than we would like. Uh, we still have Buzzwool in there. But he can be hard to set up sometimes. You don't always get to consistently just use the Buzzwool. Um, you sometimes got to work for him a little bit, and sometimes he's not quite, not quite always available. Unfortunately, um, he does what he can, but sometimes he can't quite get there. Um, one thing I did want, I did want to mention about this build is after. I don't know if I mentioned it in the intro. It's definitely more based around um, trying to beat. Um, Pikaram and Zorark builds of. Um, Dex, it struggles a little bit more against the Malamar and the Mirror Match because we don't really have anything in Mirror Match. The Lucario is not great in Mirror Match, it's okay. So yeah, there are there are reasons to play other builds of Zapdos, but this one, if you want a better Picaram slash Zorak matchup, I think this one might be the best for Picaram and Zorak. I don't, I actually think, this, yeah, I actually think this one might be the best for the Picaram Zorak matchup. Um, it's got a pretty good Picaram slash Zorak matchup. Um, do I want to Nest Ball? I don't think so. I don't think I know what I would want for sure. Definitely should grab the Cynthia. <laughs> And then we're going to go into this other Zapdos here and kind of keep the damage split up. Don't let him draw a prize. I could bench the Riolu. I think I will bench the Riolu. We're probably going to want one at some point. So, And then yeah, hit him for 80. So we're about to go down to uh, 
two prize cards here. So we're getting actually very close to being able to win this game. Ooh, field blower there. So we're up to five items now. Not quite enough for a trash lunch to one shot, but we will be hitting that point uh, next turn. We'll be hitting the, the point where they get the one shot on the next turn. Um, and there's nothing we can really do about it, and it's kind of fine. We're not like uh, it's not like that not like that big of a concern for us. Um, so yeah, we'll e power knock this out. He'll be able to knock out our bench Zapdos with the spell tag, unfortunately. So they'll be able to get a pull pull a prize off of that. So that'll come up with a prize card for them. The spell tag will. Um, Trash Lunch will be one shotting from there. But if we can just go knock out the Sigalith, knock out this Sigalith, um, should be in a pretty good spot. So I'm going to go ahead and play this E-Power, play this Cynthia. I kind of want to hold on to the Nest Ball and the Ultra Ball for later. Looking to potentially use the Coco GX combo at some point. Okay, Viridian Forest. Get rid of one Ultra Ball. Get ourselves a Lightning Energy. And it's going to be Heart Attach and Retreat. Um, not the worst thing ever because we do have... Uh, Coco Prism in the deck, and there we go, knockout on this Sigalith, and he will get to use, activate the spell tag, which I assume, yeah, it's going to be used to knock out one of our Zapdos, um, and if they have two, if they have many more spell tags, we could be in a little bit of trouble here, I'm going to try and end the game, though, um, as soon as possible, just by KOing the Sigalith, not really going to try and uh, worry about too much else going on, we could maybe just go for Garb KO, Trubbish KO, actually, well, we, we could actually, uh, Sledgehammer this turn. That's probably the better way for us to go with. Yeah, we're gonna lose a Jirachi here, and then we're actually gonna look for the Sledgehammer on this Garbodor. But if they get a spell tag here, they will be able to pick up a prize up on this. But we'll be down to one prize, and so I don't know. We'd be in a pretty good spot. Um, yeah, they were almost able to use the spell tag to get around the Trash Lands turn, but they weren't able to get a knockout quite before I activated the spell tag. So we got a little lucky there. I feel like um, had they been able to activate the spell tag, we might might have been in a little bit more trouble. Um, there's a second trash lanch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, 140. Yeah, Lucario's never living through that trash lanch. Yeah, we'll set up the buzz wall and look. Oh no! See, there's that spell tag I was worried about. Uh oh. All right. Now we might be in some trouble here because um, they're gonna draw a prize of trash lanch. We'll take a knockout, but then they'll draw a prize off the spell tag, and then they'll draw one more prize off of trash lanch next turn but i guess we would just have to look to knock out that garb and then we would win the game so i guess that's going to be the plan um yeah i guess we're still in a pretty good spot um i mean it could always be more ideal i guess but this will have to do um i think i'm going to keep the ultra ball actually get rid of those two grab ourselves the buzz wool like i said we can trash lanch this garbador uh, I guess we could go for a Guzma, but I think I'd rather just build on the hand with the Lily. I think that'll be fine. Um, second Jirachi should come down. Um, don't want a Nest Ball or Ultra Ball just yet. Let's start with... Actually, Viridian Force away that. Grab a Lightning out of the deck. Then I'll go with the Stellar Wish here. Um, I think E-Power is the way to go, setting up to potentially just knock out a Garbodor on the next turn, and then we're going to go Retreat Sledgehammer. Um, they will be able to kill the Zapdos, so we can't use a GX Pokemon on our following turn, but we'd be good to go ahead and use... Maybe I should have Stretcher for the Zapdos, actually. Uh, but I could also just save it to Stretcher for the Lucario as well, so I guess that doesn't... I'd rather have the Stretcher than uh, not, yeah. So there's the knockout on the Zapdos through the spell tag. They'll go down to three prizes, and they'll take a knockout on the Buzz. We'll put them down to two prizes. Um, and then we can look for uh, Coco Prism, Coco GX knockout. Um, pretty much anything. Um, we don't want to knock out this, because then that would knock our own Coco GX back out. Um, so anything besides this, and they all are able to be knocked out by the Coco GX here. So... If we get the Coco GX, we went through that. If we get a Lucario and the Garb doesn't have that, like a Dumbbells or something, we went through that. Um, they could also, though, attack us with the Sigalith this turn, which would be pretty annoying. I think they should have probably sent up the Sigalith, make it a little bit harder for me to get a knockout on my turn. Um, but they opted for the Garb, and I think that might... Might come back to bite them here. Yeah, there's the Trash Land, so we can just win through Lucario now. Um, so they probably should have attacked us with Sigalov. I'm not sure what their thinking was behind using the Trash Lanch. Instead of the Sigalov, Sigalov, Sigalov way tankier than the uh, Garbodor. Ultra Ball. These two. Gonna grab ourselves that Lucario. And then Aura Strike 120. Drawing our last prize card on this Garbodor. Uh, so that one got a little bit close there at the end. But then definitely a 
mistake from our opponent using the, if, even if they had used the sigil oh i guess we wouldn't have one for sure we'd have had to dig for a guzma or a escape rope yeah so if they had attack with Sigilyph, uh it might have been close but they still would have been two prizes away i guess we could have just pushed for a two shot on it that would have been fine for us as well either way we end up taking the, the win here in the end to another one here pretty good start uh well we have like some options with it can look to jirachi a couple times and look for a draw supporter um, or an ultra ball for a let loose that would also be reasonable um so yeah we have uh some options here on this start um playing against another jirachi deck it looks like um i'm gonna start with the stellar wish we might want to nest ball quite a few times for some other jirachis looks like not this time though we get the lily immediately um nest ball so i'm gonna grab the buzzwool this is a play you want to make in uh potential we're potentially playing against a zapdos mirror um, so we do want to be able to draw the first prize. And this is the play you want to make to like give yourself the best chance to draw the first prize. Um, it's setting it up like this. Go ahead and Verdian Force away Lucario here. Should be fine. Going to grab ourselves a Fighting for the Buzzwool. We're actually going to retreat to the Buzzwool. And just kind of leave it in the active. Um, I think I want to keep both these. Could get rid of the Escape Board on the Cocoa Prism, actually. Yeah, I think that's fine. Keep the escape rope for sure, though. Um, this is this will just make it as hard as possible, pretty much, for our opponent to potentially draw a... I think we're just going to throw everything down here. Um, yeah, would have liked to have gone with a let loose there, but no such luck on that. Yeah, this will just make it as hard as possible for our opponent to actually draw a prize card um, without using Guzma. Uh, I mean, if they use Guzma, if they got the Zapdos Lightning Guzma, that's fine. Yeah. Oh, there's a Field Blower. So that's that's uh, definitely would have been a reason to keep an Escape Board. I was not expecting a Field Blower, though. Um, so yeah, we're trying to make it as hard as possible for our opponent to draw a prize card by making this play. Um, hmm. I could have kept an Escape Board, I guess. Did not expect the Field Blower at all. Um, so I see the Drachi, so I'm assuming some kind of Zapdos deck. So we don't want them to be drawing free early prize cards on our Pokemon. So if they have, um, if they can knock this out, they need to e power. So we're like, okay, if you got the two e power, good for you. If they want to knock out the Coco Prism through escape, like if they escape rope, we send up Coco Prism. We're like, okay, congrats, you need two e power. Looks like we're actually playing against a Lucario deck though. So uh, setup still fine for how I did it, but um, not as ideal against a deck like this. But it's gonna be fine for us. We're just gonna be able to chase this Riolu. We still have our Verdian Four, so we can go ahead and. <clears throat> find the energy chase this riolu knock it out and we'll just be cruising from there really okay well, riolu um and then look to chase down probably jirachi on the next turn we probably won't have a ton of options for knockouts yeah losing that second escape board definitely hurts quite a bit um if i had thought my opponent played a uh, field blower would have been nice to keep that they have absol anyways though so maybe nothing like that would have happened anyways we might have been just stuck in the same scenario um so yeah, we'll be fine here. There's the wake up from the Jirachi. Verdian Four is gonna go ahead and get rid of one of these choice bands, get ourselves a lightning energy, and we're gonna go chase that Riolu on our opponent's bench. Um, they, we would like to KO the Nancy at some point here, um, but it is tough for us to knock out. Um, it, do, it is the only way that Lucario is able to knock out Zapdos, um, so that makes it Difficult for us to keep up with that. Um, yeah, it is the only way um, for uh, Lucario to actually knock out Zapdos is, is through the Diancie. Otherwise, they're just doing 120 with the resistance only 100. Um, but if they do have the Diancie, it does mean they are getting the one shots. Um, so if we can ever chase down the Diancie and KO it, which we might look to do on the Sledgehammer turn, actually, we definitely want to do that. Um, their their uh, board state might get a little awkward. There's a second field blower from our opponent, so they're really scared of weakness policy, I guess. Um, I mean, also being able to abuse it against our deck is, is nice. So I guess we would have lost our... We would have gotten one Stellar Wish off before losing our second Escape Board here in this game, I guess. As they do find the second Field Blower. Um, but yeah, they're, they're really scared of Weakness Policy. That would be the only thing I think they would be like wanting the Heavy Field Blower for. Heavy Field Blower for would be Weakness Policy. I can't think of anything else really that they would really need to Field Blower for. But it's definitely important for this deck to be able to take one shots against stuff like Picaram. You can't just have Picaram sitting around all day doing whatever the heck they want, so... Makes sense to run the heavy field blower. Definitely can uh, definitely can be useful. All right, yep. Here we go. Lucario got its fighting energy, um, so they are going to be able to knock us out. I wonder if they have anything else to follow that up. We would definitely like to be able to one shot this. We get around their sledgehammer turn stuff like that. Um, but yeah, we'll have to see what the Jirachi gives us. 
um, for something to do for our turn. We don't have access to energy besides Dance of the Ancients, which is not ideal. Uh, but we can actually just like leave this Lucario in the active for a turn. Now chasing the Riolu definitely looks pretty good. Um, but that does give them Sledgehammer, but that means we would get Sledgehammer, so it wouldn't be like all that bad. <clears throat> Either way, we'd build the KO Riolu. Or we'd probably actually go chase the Jirachi and make it harder for them to get into the Sledgehammer turn. So there's a Cynthia, which I think definitely changes things. I actually think we're just going to Cynthia here. Uh, see what the Cynthia gives us. Mm, not a whole ton. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of double lilies, grab ourselves a Zapdos, and then Stellar Wish. There's the switch, there's an escape rope. Um, I think we go with the switch here, and I think we're just going to have to go with um, Thunderous Assault for 80. Don't really want to put the choice band down when we don't need to, so yeah, it's going to be the Thunderous Assault for 80 here. Um, this does open it up so that they could ace a roll of Lucario, which would be like the maximum punish play here from our opponent would be to ace a roll of lucario that would be yep yeah, there it is the ace a roll on the lucario um so yeah that's like the maximum punish play that they could possibly pull off would be the ace a roll there it is um definitely gonna set us behind weren't able to run back to back guzma just didn't have a zapdos or an energy um we definitely would have preferred to have gone guzma let them get the sledgehammer turn and then we would have tried to respond with sledgehammer and knock out something on the bench um, so we are going back into Sledgehammer turn this turn, so we're definitely going to look for a Guzma knockout this Diancy finally. Definitely what we want to go after here. Um, even though it'll give them Sledgehammer, their Sledgehammer won't be able to KO our Buzzle unless they have their Beast Energy. Uh, I mean, I guess they could also just not play Sledgehammer Buzzle, but I doubt that's uh, I doubt that's the case. Um, definitely expect Sledgehammer Buzzle to be in their deck. So definitely want to find Guzma. Definitely want to knock out the Diancy. Um, they won't be able to return Sledgehammer unless they have the Beast Energy. That's something they definitely might not run is the beast energy. All right, here we go. Um, if not, we're just gonna be looking at sledgehammering this Lucario um, for damage, but there's the top deck Guzma, so that's pretty good. We're definitely gonna take that. Um, I think I'll take this Nest Ball as well. We need um, some more attacking Pokemon. I think we're just gonna go ahead and grab a Zapdos immediately here. Immediately here. All right, Coco GX is in deck. That's a good thing to note. But yeah, we're gonna take out this pesky Diancy, um, giving our opponent too many, too many potential plays, so we need to get rid of that. There it is, Sledgehammer, Knockout, Diancy. And then we can look for like a Coco GX play potentially to get rid of this Lucario. Definitely something to look at maybe doing um, would be Coco GX. We have played zero E-Power, um, so we have a good chance to like draw into them. We could do like, um, if we can get an Ultra Ball off of this Stellar Wish, we can go Dance of the Ancients, get the energy, uh, activate the Coco GX off the Ultra Ball, Ultra Ball in our top deck, um, plus another card off the top deck Ultra Ball. And we could even top deck the Coco GX, I guess. Oh, there's a Kukui, so that will also get them the knockout on this Buzzwool if they have the Sledgehammer or another Lucario and Energy. Um, so we'll see if they got it. Um, I was really hoping for this Sledgehammer Buzzwool to live a turn. It looks like he will be living a turn, which is great for us. Having him live a turn is awesome. We do know our opponent has Acerola in the hand, though. Um, so I actually kind of question why they attach this Energy here. Um, I guess I could just not attack them. Um, I kind of have to attack them, though. Um, we're going to go ahead and dance. I think we're just going to go ahead and do the Dance of the Ancients, because we could possibly do the Coco GX play. Um, so we may as well give ourselves the... Um, I guess I didn't have to do it right now. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this right now, but that's fine. Put one on Riolu, put one on Zapdos. Um, I don't really want to... Do I want to put that in play? We're kind of running out of Zapdos. We need to use the Coco GX soon anyways. I will go ahead and throw that in play. Make it easier to potentially use the Coco GX. If we find it, we won't need the energy draw as well. All right, so we whiffed the... Um, what's it called? But we did hit an escape rope. So we're going to go ahead and pull off that escape rope play. Uh, force up something else and then knock that out with Sledgehammer. We're going to go ahead and let our opponent commit a third energy here if they want. We're like, go ahead. You can do it. Um... So we're setting up the Jirachi. I really shouldn't have Coco Prism there. That was definitely a mistake. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, I can't retreat because of the Absol. All right, so Stellar Wish, doesn't matter. Hit the switch. <laughs> Completely forgot about Absol. Something I commonly do is forget about Absol. Um, it's fine, though. We got the switch. We're fine. I don't know how I do that so consistently. Just forget about Absol. It's like, well, it's not even a Pokemon. Um, turns out it is usually a Pokemon, though. All right, another Lightning Energy. Uh, not that great. Um... <laughs> Probably look to Stretcher in three and get back a uh, Zapdos Lucario. Buzzwool potentially, probably just Zapdos, Zapdos Lucario. Um, 
There's a switch from our opponent. I don't know why they didn't, they didn't just send up Jirachi to begin with. I guess we're both making mistakes out here. Um, yeah, I don't know why I always forget about Absol, but I do. Just always forget about the Absol. Um, okay. Um, another play we could have potentially made if we didn't attach this lightning would have been if we find a fighting plus Lucario plus a switch card and Like we just did that might have been like the better play to look at going with um, But I think we ended up doing okay here with how things turned out um, Yeah, it seems reasonable. All right. There's a Guzma. I'll see what they're taking out here. Probably the Riolu. Okay going after the Zapdos. I, Zapdos. I would have assumed the Riolu and there's the let loose. All right. So still have a reasonable chance at getting this Coco. Like I said, we have uh, we got th two, three Ultra Balls left. There's an Ultra Ball, so we're definitely going to be playing that to get the Coco GX. I've got the Let Loose, and we have four E Powers and one Choice Band left. I was going to say two Choice Band, but then I checked my discard pile. Um, so not quite as many Choice Band as I thought, but that's fine. Um, we definitely want to try and knock this out with the Coco GX. Um, so let's go ahead and see here. Um... We do have another stretcher left. I am going to stretcher for one and just grab a Zapdos here. We have a Lucario left in the deck. Um, I am then going to, I guess I have to Stellar Wish first. Stellar Wish, oh, we'll take the Choice Band here for sure because we just have one of those left. Take the Choice Band, switch into this Jirachi. Um, Stellar Wish, take the E-Power, or should we just take the Lily actually? Now take the E power. Okay, I think take the E power is correct here. What am I looking at here? Yeah, yeah, take the E power. And it turns out we're ultra balling away the Zapdos anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, get ourselves that Coco, and then we need to get an energy card. We only have four energy cards left. Um, we're gonna go with the Let Loose, um, and then we still have potential to use a draw supporter. We don't have a ton of cards left in the deck as well. Um, uh, attached choice band e power let loose here we go uh, we have another well like i said we have another there's an energy guzma as well not gonna do a whole ton but we should be good here um yeah so 150 when 110 uh with that tap with under gx um i think i played that a little sloppy could have been a little bit cleaner in there but we managed to pull out the ko here on this lucario don't have a way to draw our next prize next turn but i don't think they have a way to ko this Tapu Coco GX on their turn. Um, I guess if they have uh, Lucario Fighting Energy Kakui, that would do it. Uh, they are down one Kakui, probably play two or three. Um, but there's a Cynthia. So that's not quite going to do it, I don't think. Um, we don't quite have game in our hand either, though. Um, we do have a Guzma to get around the potential Lucario. But we don't have a way to then retreat. Um, could top deck an energy. Uh, could top deck a. We might be out of switch cards, actually. Yeah, we're out of switch cards. Cannot top deck a switch card. Could top deck. Uh, so, energy, I think, is the only thing. Energy or draw supporter into two E powers would also do it. If not, we're going to have to wait until we can eventually, like, Guzma knock out the Marshadow or the Jirachi with a Zapdos, which we actually don't currently have in the deck. Um, we'd have a stretcher left. Uh, we didn't get that Zapdos back. There's a Riolu top deck. Um. I'm going to go ahead and Ultra Ball away both Riolus. I take the Lucario out of the deck because we find the Fighting Energy that works as well. Um, and then we're going to Guzma up the Absol, I think, and just punch it with Buzzwool. Yeah, this actually works. Um, but they could Ace a Roll of the Absol then. Um, but that means they wouldn't be able to actually KO the Buzzwool. So I think this actually works. Yeah, if they Ace a Roll this thing, because then we have Guzma with this as well. So Sledgehammer here for 60 should lock up the game, I think. The only play I could come up with that where our opponent can get out of this would be... Um, a max Potion, the Absol, Choice Band to the Lucario, and then Guzma knock out our Coco GX. Um, but if they don't have that play, I think we have this one locked up because then we can just re-Guzma out the Absol. I guess they could be playing two Let Loose, um, but then we have a pretty good chance of finding this Guzma off the Jirachi. It Let Loose us to four. We have 14 cards left in deck, five. Um, so there'd be five out of nine um, on the Stellar Wish, looking for one Guzma. So we'd have a pretty reasonable chance to find the Guzma. Um, on our next turn, um, yeah, running out of switch cards does kind of stink there. We're down to three switch, two escape rope, and two escape board. There's a buzzwool from our opponent. Um, that's not going to be quite enough, I don't think. Yeah, there's the ace of roll on the absol, and then they're going to go with the jet punch. But like I said, it sets up so even if they ace of roll this, we do have the Guzma. I guess they could have had ace of roll like counter catcher, um, but you usually don't see counter catcher in decks like this going around. So yeah, there we go. 
Uh, we are able to close this one out despite a couple slight missteps, uh, getting out this, getting this last knockout here on the Absol, and we take a dub in the end. Um, so guys, that's gonna do it for my retake on Lucario Zapdos. I've definitely been liking this build better than the one that I initially showed you guys with the Rainbow Energy and the Nihilago. Just felt a lot clunkier, a lot more inconsistent. This one has been a lot more consistently based around the Lucario, which really helps it for the matchups that the Lucario really helps against. Like I said, uh, the Zoric matchup, the Picaron matchup is with Lucario is mainly there to help out against. Um, you kind of sacrifice a little bit of percentage in your other matchups like the Zapdos Mirror and the Malamar matchup. Um, but uh, if you're going to play this build as Zapdos, definitely trying to give yourself an edge against the Zorark and the Picaram. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's all I got for you today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give a like. If you're enjoying the content, be sure to subscribe. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Check out the description for links to my Twitch live stream as well as social medias. And uh, have a good day.